Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how I healed my first tattoo. So I recently got my first tattoo, and it's words on both of my wrists, and they're classified as line work, which is fairly easy to heal. But why is this info important? Well, every tattoo is different, and they're different to heal, so if you have tattoos similar to mine, you can apply these steps, if not, they may not work. Take this as a disclaimer. I am not a tattoo artist, I am not professional in any regard, so don't take my advice as fact. But I have done quite a lot of research, and I feel like I know what I'm doing. So take these steps at your own risk. One other thing, I'm not going to talk about the whole before process of getting my tattoo, what it means to me, why I got it, why I got it here, where I got it. That'll be all for different videos if you want them. Here, I'm just going to be talking about the healing process. This video is going to be separated into three sections. Before, immediately after, and one week after you get your tattoo. I will also be adding additional information and things that I did not anticipate before. Before, make sure that you get the right tattoo artist. Because the fact is that your tattoo is going to stay with you for your life. So it needs to age well, it needs to look right for the longest period possible. This is why you should research online, check Instagram, there is a lot of great inspiration on Instagram, I use that personally, and find a nice tattoo artist. And be willing to travel. Some people travel like hundreds of kilometers to get their tattoos done by particular artists, so be, wi be willing to do that. I personally found a local one that's quite good, with really nice reviews, good hygiene and because my tattoos are so small I didn't really need him to be an exceptional artist so everything checked out I found my tattoo artist. On the day of the tattoo you should prepare by eating a lot of sugar before you get it done. A lot of people eat jellies or sugary snacks like lollipops when they're getting it done as well. Now this increases your blood sugar and it makes you bleed less which which your tattoo artist will thank you for, and you'll also have a nice time personally. Next, you want to prepare your house. Hear me out on this. Get a new towel, get a new duvet, get a new pillow, wear new clothes like freshly washed jumpers, etc. This is important to prevent infections after, and just make sure that your environment is hygienic. Initially, after you get a tattoo, you are generally advised to leave it under cling film for the first 24 hours. This is because a tattoo is essentially an open wound and in the first 24 hours is the worst because it's just after being done. So by keeping a cling film on you're preventing a lot of the infections. After the first 24 hours you can take off the cling film and rinse your tattoo with water wipes. I use the brand water wipes because they have very low chemicals and are quite easy to get. But you can also gently rinse it under a warm tap. Make sure to be very gentle though. In this first rinsing process you might find some tattoo gunk and this is just your body kind of getting rid of some fluids. I didn't get this personally but a lot of people do. The way I applied my water wipes, which are essentially baby wipes without any scent, is I cut them in half and I just wiped across my tattoo area and I let that air dry for a few minutes. If you wash it under the tap, for instance, you should pat dry it with paper towels. Kitchen roll is perfect for this. Next, I covered my tattoo with a thin layer of cream. A lot of people use Vaseline and coconut oil. I just use the one that my tattoo artist provided. It's pretty good, it doesn't really smell, and it's super easy to apply. After applying the cream, you want to cover your tattoo. I use cling film and I taped it shut with medical tape, but any tape will do. It is very important to cover your tattoo for the first week when going to sleep. That's because it prevents scratching and rubbing and just you getting junk in there from your bed sheets. When you're washing every morning or every night, you should never take a bath because a fresh tattoo doesn't like to be soaked. I took a shower for every one of these days and for the first three days I actually had cling film over my tattoo when showering. Of course some liquid got in there but it was not a huge amount and I found that perfect. So after showering you should patch dry the tattoo with a clean towel. Get it nice and dry 
and then carry out your nightly routine which consists of water wipes, cream and cling film. So after one week, my tattoo actually fully healed in about 10 days, give or take a day. At this point, I did not have to be super careful around my tattoo anymore. I could wear normal shirts with nothing underneath, no cling film, I could wash dishes, I could have showers, baths, none of that really mattered anymore. I should state though that a lot of tattoos take two to three weeks to heal depending on their size and placement and how good you clean them. For the time after I got my tattoo it is advised that I moisturize it and use sunblock whenever I'm outside. This will reduce fading and make it nice and firm. However, I am currently experimenting with the aftercare process and making it nice for a long period of time. So, I'll update you in the future with what I've come up with. Now that part is done, I'm going to talk about some additional information that I figured out and I want to kind of put into this video because it's useful and you'll thank me for it. Exercise. I did not personally exercise for the first day and that is because I the tattoo was a bit stingy and it kind of swelled up a tiny bit. I did not want to irritate the skin around it. As well as that, I did not want any sweat to go onto it, so I just avoided exercise for the first eight days. Itchiness. A lot of tattoos start to itch and peel after the first week. My tattoo didn't, but if your tattoo actually does, you should pat it. So like, do something like that to get rid of the itchiness and avoid scratching. Do not scratch. Feeling ill or just having like a slight fever. I experienced this in the first day or two and the reason for this is because um, it's ink in your body. Your body's trying to get rid of it so it's trying all different things to get rid of this material. But after those two days I felt perfect and I'm, I've been fine since. Eating right. I don't hear this enough from tattooed people but your diet depends on a lot of things, like they say that your diet is accounted for 80% of, of you gaining muscle. So have that in mind and yeah, eat right because your tattoo is an open wound that's trying to heal. Provide your body with nice whole foods such as fresh fruit and vegetables that are filled with dense nutrients. This will give your body everything that it needs to build the skin back again. Oh yeah, and also try and avoid junk food junk drinks and any of that clogging stuff. Now this is the last point and this is all based on me. So take it how you will. Fasting. I am a firm advocate of fasting. I've been fasting for nearly two whole years and I do intermittent fasting, which means I fast for 18 hours and eight or six. In the past month or so, I've been fasting around 22 hours and eating in two. So yeah, that's been going superb. What I'm getting at is, I carried out a 48 hour fast during my first two weeks, as well as a 36 hour dry fast, no food or water. Why did I do this? Well, I love fasting, it boosts your metabolism, immune system, it makes you lose fat, and it's just overall great. But also, it allows your body to finally rest because digestion takes up so much energy and when you fast your body doesn't have to digest and it can put that energy into different things such as healing. I hope, I hope you're keeping up with what I'm saying because it's going to get a whole lot deeper. So with fasting, I didn't eat for those days and allowed my body to actually rejuvenate and, and have like a reset button and that basically allowed me to heal my tattoo extraordinarily fast, like around 10 days is unheard of really. But if, you, if you've never fasted before, or you're just alien to this idea, I would say avoid it because you're gonna be feeling a bit weird when you're tattoo on all in itself. So this has been my edition of how to heal your tattoo, it has worked splendid for me. If you like this video or, or any of my other videos, please subscribe, drop a like, and check out my Instagram. I post daily pics and are always of high quality. Till next time.